Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here bringing you Warhammer fluff. We're going to be talking about the Glotkin and the End Times brought about by Archeon. Okay, so we're just going to dive right into this one. <clears throat> Chaos Ascendant. The first tolling of the End Times was heard with the resurrection of Nagash casting a pall of death across the Warhammer world. But the Dark Brothers will not be overlooked. Already their bloody-handed servants prepare to plunge the whole world into chaos. Archeon, the ever-chosen of chaos, is readying his great invasion of the world. He has gathered the greatest army history has ever known ready to smash through the Empire and overrun the world. In desperation, the Empire forged the Auric Bastion, a golden wall of magical energy fueled by the faith of the righteous, an impregnable barrier protecting the world beyond. But, as the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a little break. I read about the the Arc Bastion. I must have missed a part of it because I really wonder. I'm trying to wonder how this thing works. It's just a wall. So is it just a, a, a wall, like a force barrier? Then do people just fly over it? Uh, or if it's not, or is it like going to be an under the dome type of thing? Uh, that CB show. So so what is it? How is it? How how is this actually keeping you know the several million chaos out is it is it can't just be the wall and yet obviously if it's chaos and they can fly how, how high does it go never mind anyways but as the legions of chaos batter against this bulwark archeon seeks another way to achieve his goals turning to the chosen sons of nurgle to act as the heralds of his coming invasion if this invasion succeeds, Altdorf will be smashed to ruins and Karl Franz, the greatest champion of the light, will fall. Archeon looks to the Glotkin as his chosen emissaries for this deadly mission and worthy representatives of Nurgle's godly might. The Glots are triplets whose hatred of the Empire matches Archeon's own. They are merciless killers who will not hesitate to drown the mortal world in an unforgiving tide of pestilence and filth. That doesn't sound very grandfatherly to me. So, while millions of ironclad northerners and their hideous demonic allies assail the Auric Bastion on the... The Brothers Glot circumnavigate it gathering allies in the form of the maggot lords of Iceborne Peak and Gut Rot Spume, master of the Plague Fleets. Together, they initiate an attack of staggering power and shocking suddenness into the old world. Spume carves his way through the Nordland butchering the denizens of Reichwald Forest as his way east, while the Glots put the great trading port of Marienburg to the torch before heading onwards to Altdorf. For their part, the Magath lords battle their way south over the Middle Mountains, gathering the putrid Blight Kings of Brass Keep before assailing to lab him alongside unbidden allies in an attack that will ever after be known to history as the Deluge. Dun, 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 dun. Well, we're going to go on after that in part two, where they talk about... Ooh. Well, the response to that, basically. But we'll see you next time. Until then, bye.